the northern kingdom of Israel gets all mixed up. God had sent his prophets to warn Israel, but had they listened? No. After Jeroboam II, there were six more bad kings, and the people kept on with their false gods and selfish lives. As you've seen, God was very long-suffering. He saved Israel several times in spite of bad leaders because he wanted to uphold his reputation. And when he saw that they had no one to deliver them, no postman, no one to help them get where they needed to go, he stepped in and helped. But eventually, enough was enough for God. He had given Israel so many chances. He warned them that his justice rolls on like a river. So what did they expect if they made their golden cows and false priests? They had totally stopped paying attention to God. So God let the king of Assyria come and attack the capital city of Israel, Samaria. God took away all the people of Israel to live in faraway lands, just like he said would happen through the seer Amos. Eventually, the people of the kingdom of Israel got so scattered away into other nations that they just became regular people, not set apart, not close, not God's special people. They disobeyed and made up their own religion. So now they were mixed up and mixed in with all the other peoples and families of the world. And so the story of the northern kingdom of Israel ends. There was still the southern kingdom of Judah, ruled by David's descendants. Things were pretty rough there too, but everyone hadn't forgotten God. Plus, God had promised David that he would always have someone from his family on the throne. So God's big plan for his people was definitely not over. And God had promised through Amos and Hosea and his other prophets, he would remake and reshape and rebuild a people for himself. So watch for it.